So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever time it may be, hopefully it's a good, good day, great day, fabulous day. Hey guys, welcome to The Drip. This is Scott and we're here again, home of the 150% guarantee where 100% of the time I'm going to be over 50% right. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Got some coffee, and it is Saturday morning as of this filming, June the 18th. It's hot as hell outside. It's humid. It's nasty. It's disgusting, but we're going to power through it. We're going to do a video here, and it is a knife channel. So, hey, guys, we're going to take a look at the Spider Co. Spidey Chef. Thanks for joining me. If you are on Instagram, Casey Blade Drip, I do have an Instagram channel. Thank you. So, as I was saying today, we're going to talk about it's a Spider Co. I feel kind of like I've been nailing a few of these lately. I, you know, again, I, as I've said in previous videos, guys, I really like Spider Co. I like the direction and vision that they have, the thought that goes into designing their knives. I'm just really impressed with them. And uh, I don't know, maybe like you guys, I kind of go through spurts where I'll like a certain brand or type of knife and then I may be into that for a little while and I'll jump to something different. Now, let's take a look at it. What we've all been waiting for. I had kind of had my eye on this particular knife for quite a while, but just wasn't exactly sure if I was wanting to pull the trigger. Um, it's not a cheap knife or a inexpensive knife, that's for sure. Uh, these things coming in, I believe it's around 250 close to $300. It's a little bit dirty here. Um, so it's not a cheap knife. And for me, I didn't know exactly what my use would be for it. So it kind of kept me. But then the last few weeks, I more or less kept looking at it, coming back to it. And finally got it. So wanted to be able to share it with you guys, get your opinions, see what you think about it. Now... Just a little bit. We've gone over in the past kind of about Spider Co., the company itself. It is um, out of Boulder. They do make some of their blades overseas or in different areas. The uh, Spidey Chef is actually a collaboration um, with a Polish custom knife maker. I'm trying to remember, was his name like, I think it's like Marcin Sluz or Sluz? I don't remember exactly the pronunciation of his name, but he started uh, out in 2006 with fixed blades, and then he kind of moved over to making uh, folders. And so now, to my understanding, the designer of this knife uh, is now exclusively known for or, uh, uh, I guess, um, designs folding knives, so is his specialty. Um, now, even though this is kind of known for a lot of people, in fact, even myself, anyone that's familiar with this particular knife, uh, it was known as being like a kitchen tool. But you know, more than being a kitchen tool, the thing that I found, especially since I purchased this, is that yes, it's a great kitchen tool, but it is more or less all purpose. So you could keep this with you as an EDC if you wanted. It definitely would fill that role very well for most people. Um, but yeah, just it's not only meant to be or, you know, stay in the kitchen. So that's, you know, it's got a lot of user-friendly ergonomics, which we'll just kind of talk about. The balance on this thing is amazing. I mean, when you have your finger here and you put it essentially in the middle of the knife, and I can move around this thing. I mean, it just feels, the balance in the hand is remarkable. It really is. So it just overall feels great. 
Um, let's kind of go over some of the different little things here on the actual knife itself. Now, this is a LC200N for the steel. Let's see if we can get up close on it. There you can see the spider co and the blade steel. Now, this blade steel, um, the blade itself is a full flat grind. They say this is kind of a modified drop point, but it kind of, to me, looks a little bit like a maybe some form of a modified sheep's foot is what it kind of looks like to me. But uh, the steel itself, um, it's basically superior corrosion, like extremely, extremely good with corrosion, hence being a uh, Spidey Chef. And then it's also got a very, I mean, it's extremely tough as well. So a really nice steel that would be used in the kitchen. Um, so in fact, if you wanted to cut up some food or something, you just kind of wiped it off. I wouldn't be at all afraid that this would rust or have any type of corrosion off of it. So that's really nice to have a quality, good steel. Uh, this blade is made uh, in Taiwan. Right there and then the little emblem. So not very familiar at all, really. Like, is that where that steel comes from? Are they, I'm, I'm not exactly sure other than it says Taiwan. The blade or the grind on this is a beautiful full flat grind. As you can see, look at the profile on that. Now on this knife, there is absolutely no jimping on the top of the blade, underneath the blade, or around it, okay? And I believe that there's a reason for that, which I'll try to cover. The uh, opening is going to be a thumb uh, opening here. Now, whether you do it with your thumb, which I think a lot of people would, or if you try to do a flick, which is a little bit more difficult on this knife, because if you look at the back of it, see how part of the hole is hidden? So whereas you can flick it, it's a little bit harder to do that on this knife just because your finger isn't quite getting all the way in the hole. But it is possible and it is fidgety for that, uh, that purpose of being able to flick it like that. Feels great in the hand, it really does. Um, you don't necessarily have, you have kind of a sharpening little choil area here. But uh, the handle itself, as you can see, look in proportion to the blade. Look at that. Now, the thing with this is when you put your hand on the handle here, okay, and you put it down to your table, even with my ring on, you're going to have this blade go straight down and actually touch, and you're, you're going to be able to cut things without your knuckles getting in the way because of the ergonomics of this. Okay, so it's a full titanium handle that we have, which is another thing that I like. I really do like full titanium handles. It's nice and smooth, there's no texturing, kind of reminiscent of what you may see in a kitchen. So it feels really good in the hand. There's, you know, just a nice underneath smooth area for your hand to wrap around. You sometimes will feel the clip on here, but nothing that's going to be bothersome. I mean, it doesn't dig into you or it doesn't dig into me anyway. I feel it sometimes, but it's a natural feeling in my palm. It doesn't... Uh, have any sharp edges anywhere on this knife that are going to dig into your hand. Wonderful open construction on the handle, guys. As you can see, look at that. And I'll just, for the, for the hell of it, let's see if we can, if you can see inside here, it's all just two solid pieces of titanium. Okay, and it's opened up completely. Now, when you're in the kitchen and you're cutting, if you're using this in the kitchen, 
which it's kind of like said as being one of the primary roles for the knife. You don't want any little ridges, nooks, crannies, crevices, areas that are going to accumulate food or debris of any kind. So without having any jimping and having such an open flow through design, free of any type of milling or, or cracks or like I said, areas, even the, if you choose to go with a lanyard, the lanyard hole, when you look through here, it's a little tube. So your lanyard would go through here, come out, and the lanyard would never touch the inside or be open through the handle of the your knife. It would go through cleanly. But there is no areas on here that you're gonna really, and that's why such the clean, open design that they have here. I think that's free of any jimping. Just looking at it. Such a sleek design. Now the lock on this particular knife, this is gonna be called a Reeve Integral, Integral maybe, Integral Lock, which is also known as a R-I-L. Reeve Integral Lock. Integral, I think it's Integral. Kind of like uh, when you have an Integral handle. But, um, the reason or the way that it is, is if you look, see how the lock bar on here is flush and even with the other side of the handle and how you have a little open area here under the lock. Now the reason that this is designed this way is for one-handed closing to make it, I guess, more simple. So where that hole is open here, for you to be able to have your thumb and the back side goes up higher to actually cover that. When you have this open, ideally you can use your thumb here, push on this lock bar and see how you can pretty simply, and it's so smooth. This is a buttery smooth detent when it closes. It feels soft. Oh, come on. Now it's now I, it feels really soft, but when you have it in your hand, it's easy to close one handed. So that if you're in the kitchen or you're cutting or you've got gunk in your hands or on the table, you can really close it easy with one hand. So that's what the lock itself is designed to do to be easier for that. Your pocket clip is reversible. You can go left or right. Again, it's one of the paper clip, 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 where it basically looks like a paper clip. But yeah, you can just flip this thing over to either side, nice and open, see how simple the clip is. And again, guys, I didn't used to like these type of clips, but now I'm a huge fan of these type of clips because they're very minimal. But they, when you have it in your pocket, it secures your knife. And honestly, when it's in there, just look at it. It doesn't really look bad. Centering is on point. Look at that. And the blade itself, look how close it gets to the end of the handle. Look at that. I mean, it basically smooths around and goes directly to the end of the handle. Gorgeous. See if we're gonna, if it's gonna play. There we go. Um, but the lockup, superior, nice and strong. Feels like it could almost be a fixed blade in your hand when you try to move it around like that. Just a beautiful feel. And so, myself, this is something that I have used quite a few times in the kitchen, just cutting up various things. It works perfectly and it is razor sharp. The edge on this thing is freaking sharp, guys. So if you're just wanting to have something that you carry that maybe you use, you could be out camping, you could be uh, 
on the road, in, the, in your own kitchen at home. You could pull this out, use it, rinse it off, wipe it off, put it back in your pocket. You could carry it with something to complement other blades. You could carry it as a standalone, being your only blade that you carry. Let's do some quick, I want to just do some quick stats. I want to measure it and weigh it. They got a new scale, so I'm kind of excited. This is going to be my first, first time to use it. So let's go here to the blade itself. So I'm looking at about, and that's from the tip. It is kind of a, maybe three and a half. It curves a little bit. So you're looking at, to me, about three and a half. It, they may have a more precise. And then this is about 4.75, it looks like on the handle, just under 4.75. So, overall length is just right under eight. So, really nice. Now, let's see. This may be another area where this blade shines. Let's see what it weighs. Three point eight. Man, this I love the scale. Actually, let me. 3.8. I got that thing for like, I don't know, it was 18 bucks on Amazon. So the the weight of this knife is to me, that's nice. It's a good weight. Because it, it's in the balance, everything is wonderful on this. Again, guys, I don't think you're gonna go wrong if you're looking for the type of of things that this knife can do. Every knife kind of has what they're specifically good at or intended for. So again, this is wonderful as far as being able to have it in the kitchen and perform the tasks to completion. You could take it camping, keep it with you all the time. It is a Spyderco, which is the name that we depend on. The blade itself, look how, I know sometimes I dote on blades, but look at this. A true full flat grind. The top of it is a nice, no swedges, no marks, no indentions or lines or sharp areas on this thing. Just smooth cutting perfection and performance. Even when you go, we uh, are shutting and we look inside when we're closing the knife, you, as again, Nice and smooth, easy to rinse off. Things aren't going to get stuck in this. You've got your standoffs uh, spacers here. Nice, simple barrel spacers. That's all that's on the inside of here that we can see. Uh, if we flip it around here, it actually feels great in the hand reverse. You have a nice plateau here where your thumb can uh, go on the, the end of the handle here for gripping it. As you can see, the handle itself, looking at how my hand, it cradles it. I mean, it's a nice full handle. I wear typically a large glove, so it's good in the hand. Great feel. So appreciate it, you know, you guys taking the time to watch this little uh, kind of like a show and tell uh, overview of the Spyderco Spidey Chef. I'll be having other knives and things coming to you here in the future. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. We're going to continue this thing and seeing where we go. All you wonderful, uh, freaking fantastic people. Helping to grow, that's when we get into more giveaways and things for you guys. Remember our pets. Remember our vets, the guys and gals that gave everything for us to have our freedoms, to be able to like just hang out, talk about knives, see where things are going. Remember those that are less fortunate. Oh man, the people that struggle daily, the ones that can't even leave their homes, mental illness, PTSD, cancer, AIDS, 
Are there anything, so many other unknown illnesses and things that people struggle with on a daily basis? Praise everything for our health, guys, your family's health. Life is so short, don't let it slip away. Yes, I'm going to keep telling you, I'm going to drive it into you because I actually have learned to love and value human life. And everyone is precious, not just myself. It's hard to look outside yourself sometimes and to really understand and have empathy, but we can do it, guys. If we all believe and we live and we we can do it, we can do anything that we choose. Every action begins with a thought. So you have to think it to do it. So we need to learn to be able to have our thoughts going in the right direction to have great behavior. Um, with that being said, again, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It's more than just a knife. It's a life. And uh, with that being said, until we meet again, my friends, stay sharp. Love you guys. This is Scott. I'm out.